We look forward to brighter days in the future, but for today, we are sad to announce that the Schmoker Adult Day Services Program is suspended indefinitely. It's an announcement that devastated families across Fort Dodge. A program that has served hundreds of adults with disabilities since 1996 has now shut down for good. Families say the news blindsided them and they had only expected the shutdown to be temporary. Local 5's Eva Anderson spoke with families who say now their family members with disabilities are left feeling isolated. Adam Plouts doesn't have much to do nowadays. It's one of the reasons his family got him Alvy. Yeah, you kiss Adam? Yeah, yeah. To give him something to look forward to. This makes Adam pretty happy having this puppy. For the past nine months, Adam hasn't had a place to see his friends. Danielle Jessen is facing the same problem. It was hard on me because I am used to going there during the day. Both Adam and Danielle attended Friendship Haven Schmoker Adult Day Program, providing adults with developmental disabilities, structured activities, and a place to socialize in a post high school setting. They just have like all different activities. It's been the 29 year old's home away from home for the past 10 years. It's where she met her boyfriend who gave her this ring. I don't know if you can see, but our names are on it. Aww, Meaningful cute. relationships built in the program are just part of the reason that a Facebook announcement October 28th shook many Fort Dodge families. It saddens me to announce that we are going to suspend the Schmoker Adult Day program indefinitely. I don't know what Danielle's going to do. She can't just sit at home. I mean, We've been doing that the past since March. Friendship Haven also cares for seniors as a long term care facility, and they say the pandemic put an insurmountable burden on them. In a statement, CEO Julie Thorson acknowledged that the news was heartbreaking for families and said, quote, the pandemic and lack of reimbursement from Medicaid managed care programs may put other programs similar to ours in jeopardy as well. Meanwhile, the families are advocating for another option, any option. I never thought I'd still be fighting for basic services. And that's really hard because I'm an older mother and my child doesn't have a voice. Well, I'm just hoping that they will change their mind. As Eva Anderson reporting. Both families are working with State Senator Tim Crane Brink and Representative Ann Meyer in Fort Dodge to advocate for more funding for a similar program.